See, right here, this part was used for the moon. And then, that's not all. See, right here, the mermaid's hair was used for this section of the wing. Hence the name of the piece, the Caribbean Owl. I used over 65 posters of Pirates of the Caribbean. 66 of them if you count the one Grant Monnier, the artist, saved to reference right now. He spread the glue on the canvas. You take a little piece, take a piece of paper. He's working on another one of his eco art projects. This one is a gift for an HPD officer. See, like that. Yeah, that's right. Right? You got it. I can tell you it's not as easy as it looks. Grant takes his time and says it's like meditation for him, soothing on his fingers. But it wasn't always this kind of work. In fact, that's how Grant's mom discovered he's autistic. The tearing was part of, the, and it was an obsession to release his anxiety. It wasn't an art, it was just tearing. The problem was he he was tearing everything and everyone's stuff <laughs> or papers. Eventually, Julie had a homeschool grant, but says she always knew he was creative since he started drawing at age four. Now at 20, he's enrolled here at Focus Academy. The kids that we work with kind of fall through the cracks. Jacqueline Milkey is the executive director of the private school and says they cater to those with disabilities and offer more than just an education, but flexibility. The goal is for them to be able to leave here and not graduate to the couch be able to leave here and go out and have successful careers. In between studying, the program accommodates Grant to work on his art business, plus travel with his mom, educating others about autism, acceptance, and recognizing those hidden talents that could draw up big business. One of Grant's pieces sold for $6,000. Money for college, he says, and supplies, since it's what glues his passion and talent together.